thinking about batteries is more than just the starter battery of your car. Um, batteries do contribute to e-mobility, to conventional conventional mobility. We do see batteries now in start-stop applications where they contribute to reduce CO2 emissions. Um, but there is another kind of batteries, industrial batteries. The main application of industrial batteries is energy um, storage, energy distribution, so grid stabilizing systems, things like that. We all love green and we love green uh, energy, we love solar and wind, but the wind is not always blowing, the sun is not always shining. We have to, to use batteries or other storage devices, but batteries are playing a very important uh, role um, to really maintain this future technologies. Today's event organized by Eurobot was mainly about batteries in our society. And we also wanted to prove by presenting an, an additional study um, that our products are handled in a closed loop and do contribute to sustainability development in Europe. Uh, I think the most important um, study that we uh, were talking about today was the uh, recycling rate uh, calculations for lead acid batteries. The uh, collection and recycling rates of lead based batteries in Europe was 99% so effectively operating in a, in a closed loop. The rema remaining 1% are not landfilled or incinerated, it's just that some batteries have longer lifetimes and these batteries aren't included in the calculation. So it was a very nice presentation showing that all batteries are collected and recycled in the EU. Uh, the good news is that many people understand energy much more than before because it's in a mobile phone, in a car, in the grid or in solar energy. What our problem with the policy makers is, is that there's less political coherence between the different policy uh, instruments from REACH to end of life vehicle to batteries directive. We want to be sure that there's a coherent message and that's lacking at the moment. The Juncker Commission uh, has an opportunity here of better coordination among the commissioners. There are 28, there are now vice presidents. So I hope that both in the energy union, environment and uh, energy use of renewables, climate, there will be more of a coherent policy to support batteries and the use of energy as a security in the grid. There's always uh, risk and there's challenges coming, uh, but I think uh, we demonstrate and we demonstrated and show today as well that we are uh, very much able to overcome uh, these this challenges and that we uh, need um, this technology, battery technology, for our bright future. Mm -hmm.